One critical component of the Building Community Resilience Network and Collaborative is a fundamental understanding of the role evidence-based public policy solutions play in improving child and family well-being, advancing equity, and dismantling systemic drivers of adversity. At the BCR Hill Day in April 2019, BCR teams and partners from across the country took this message to the halls of Congress, visiting 43 offices of U.S. Senators and Representatives. We had six visits today. They were all, yeah, so we had a jam-packed day um, of meeting with uh, our both senators and representatives in Missouri, Illinois, as well as Kansas. Really exciting time. Uh, we hope to uh, be able to provide, provide information uh, to the delegates about the parabases, adverse childhood experiences, adverse community environments, and the types of supports and services that people in our community need. BCR partners worked hard to prepare for this important day. They spent time learning from experts and each other about the relationships between trauma, equity, and resilience. They discussed the historical and policy context of inequities and policy solutions that build community resilience at the federal, state, and local levels. So understanding too that it's not just about how we draw district lines, but it's also thinking about the equity in which we fund our schools. We have to consider how the interaction between the housing um, system as well as the public school system drive the population characteristics, which will drive the community engagement, parental engagement, and the educational attainment of our children. So um, we find that a lot of our families are not just struggling with health needs, but they're struggling with um, food insecurity, they're struggling with housing needs. And so um, we feel like um, collaborations like building community resilience and us being a part of that work really help drive the quality of life of our families so we can work collaboratively and not in silos. BCR assisted each team in identifying their federal policy priorities, such as implementing trauma-informed care in schools and the reauthorization of the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act. Teams then honed their messages and developed strategies for working with policymakers, educating staff, and advocating for change. Shout out to BCR. They helped a lot um, with, with setting up our meetings for today. Um, and so I definitely felt really prepared. Um, the memos and just having a lot of information about what are each legislator is doing and what their priorities um, was very helpful to figure out how we can align and best work after um, we leave and go back into our community. So. Armed with this preparation and inspiration, BCR teams held meaningful meetings with their representatives and developed their own advocacy skills in the process. And also the importance of uh, storytelling. So in those meetings, of course, um, we always talk about storytelling, but even in meeting um, and uh, with our ask uh, and talking about uh, why certain things should be supported, uh, we just notice a difference when you uh, add that story and somewhere uh, for people to personally connect to it. BCR partners are committed to continuing the conversation with their representatives, both in Washington, D.C. and back at home. Um, I guess the other thing we want to echo too is that the prep information was really helpful, but also a good reminder of um, connecting with local offices. Because as a collective, that's really our goal is we want folks to be coming to us for information and on the ground um, details about what's going on in our community and actually the... This year felt a lot different than last year. Uh, we met with some of the same staffers and they, I think they were decidedly more engaged. That familiarity, that understanding. Um, so I think the more that we do this, I think the better that it gets. Don't forget, BCR's Policy and Advocacy Guide is available for download at our website. Use it to develop policy strategies for your own community and join us in building a resilient nation.